Hello, this is uh, another one of my assignments in C++. Now I'm trying to read a text file and create graphics by using open frameworks. Uh, this is my main file where I declare my variables, the variables that I'm using, and I use off image to have a, an image uh, loader. And then the float variable loads uh, my x, y, the height, width, uh, red, green, blue, and then rotate. I use the variable change to change every graphic in here. This is here, the variable change. And um, the string name of image to put a name of the image and the type of image to give a type. And the line goes through every line here in the text file. I do I write all my code in the draw function and I'm gonna do a short demonstration right now how each of the graphics work. This is let's see number one. This is a picture. I can change colors to the picture and I can resize it and change um, location. Resizing it there. I can go to the next picture and I can rotate this picture. Yeah. And I can also change colors and resize it as well, just like the other one. And yeah. If I go to option three, I have a little rectangle. I can put a fill rectangle or no fill rectangle, but I want it to be filled and I want it to be bigger, like this big, almost like a square, and there we go, and I can even change the color of this rectangle, I like pink. Let's see, circle, we have this circle. I can also have it fill, have a no fill circle. Let me change the colors. Let's make it blue. And then I have number five where I can change the resolution of the circle. Here's is like a normal circle. Let me just make it smaller. And here it's this. It can be a line. And this is what I mean by resolution circle. And then in six, I have another image where I can change the colors. Yeah, I could also change the image here. Let's see what I want to say there. Mm. And change the image. And number seven, I have an ellipse. I can make it no fill as well. And I can change the size. And then I have an 8, I have a line where I can change where it is located, how large it is, and so on. 150, 160. 50, there, straight line. And then in 9, I can change the line width. Make it there. Then I can draw in 10 a box, but I'm using the same line width, so I need to go and change it. One, okay, and then I go to ten. There, it's a box, and I can change the size, the position, and the size. And ding. let's, and that's how it works. Yeah, those are the graphics that I'm using. So there, 
this is how it works. I have the first oh, making the file here, the data file. And then I have this file change. Is the change is the variable that I'm using to change each graphic. This and then I'm getting a line, like going to the next line and starting with file, type of image, name of image, x, y, h, width, red, green, and blue. And then I start with an if sentence, if change in this folder is, in this text file is one, then I will load image. Name of image is strange.jpg. And I will set the color to RGB, these three colors, whatever they are, and draw to this position and size. If change is two, then I use a different color, uh, image, I set the color differently, and I can use an, even use the Im image to rotate. It uses this last number there, that is the rotation. And then I get line again go to the next line and I start a rectangle and I use a built-in function from open frameworks to build a rectangle and to fill it so if this word here is filled then it will draw a filled rectangle if it's no fill then it will draw no fill rectangle and then I get line again and then I go to the circle and again I'm using built-in functions to build a circle of circle and it gets the X, Y, A uh, positions and the age to size of the circle. In change 5, I use the same. I use a circle and I set the color of the circle and I use this built in function of set resolution to, to change it. Um, to the next line in change 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, this, I'm just adding another image where I can change the colors. In 7, I... Um, oh yeah, I draw an ellipse with the, this built-in function and where I can also do the same thing that I can do the rectangle and the circle. And, and then I draw a line, built-in function. I set, and then I make the line width of the line, so I get the line width, and then I draw a line. And the last one is making a box. I'm using this built-in function to make a box. And I'm using this line width for this box. And then I close the file, and that's the whole code that works with this. So yeah. That's how it works. Number five. This is my text file and this is my code. This is how it works.